Gahlu. <coughs> right then. Today we got the Nino Kune 2. King's Edition unboxing. Let's just move this mic out of the way a bit. So once you put this controller, so the controller's in the way. There's so many things in the way here. Sort your wires out. Is the volume okay? Can can you hear me? Does it need adjusting or does it sound okay? My voice can be quite deep so it can make things a bit quiet from time to time. But hopefully it all should be good. Right then, uh, let's move that one out of the way. Right then. Uh, yeah, so today Nino Kune 2 came out. I uh, picked it up today, it was uh, 100 and I think it was 160 or 170 pound. Uh, of course, I had my because um, I pre-ordered it. I got the uh, pre-order bonus, which was obviously um, some new swords, which is awesome. So I've I've tapped that code in already. So that's that's ready to go. I don't know when you get them in the game. Of course, I don't know how soon. Whether you got to reach a certain level or a certain quest or you get straight away, I, I don't know. But that's done anyway. But as you can see, uh, that is. The King's Edition. Uh, the reason why I've got that there, because obviously this is Nino Kune, Wrath of the White Witch, which was the first one. So hopefully, uh, they keep the series going, which um, which I really like because the first one was absolutely epic. Yeah, the kid was a bit whiny, but um, it was good. It brought something new to the table. It was competition for Pokemon because it was it was like that sort of thing in a way, you know, capturing monsters and whatnot. Well, familiars is what they was called, and uh, yeah, so. Um, uh, just briefly, just going to go on what, uh, because obviously we had a collector's edition, obviously, of the first one, which was known as the Wizard's Edition. Now, when I come to get in the King's Edition, uh, they was obviously mentioned about this. It was one of those hidden gems that they wish they got but missed out on. But um, I was lucky enough, I got that for uh, my birthday when it came out at the time. And, um, I mean, it, it is absolutely an absolute gem itself. Uh, what came with this was a plush of um, Drippy. I nearly almost forgot his name then. Yoosh! How's it going, Tech Wrong Guy? So, obviously, a plush came with. Uh, the plush Drippy came with the uh, first game, which was the uh, Ralph Lloyd Witch Wizard, Wizard's Edition. And, of course, um, what came with it all, as well, which was an absolutely amazing. To look at is the uh, Wizard's Companion. Uh, it's a nice book, real nice little gem in there. But it's just the Wizard's Companion, which you use in the game, everything that's in that is pretty much in this. I mean, I think there's even a quest where you had to sort of go for a, a, a look for, find a page for like a clue for something. And um, I thought, well, while well, I'm looking for it, it's pretty much in here. And I've managed to come across it. But I mean, there's obviously. Uh, you know, it's got everything on it, all the familiars, uh, all your equipment and all that. But um, I just quickly thought I'd go through what came with that one, really. And obviously uh, the game, and you got like a Golden Mighty and something else. But, um, I mean, has anyone played the first one before? Because if you haven't, it's, it's one of those gems that you um, should definitely uh, check out. Let's get, sort this mic out. So put that there like that. So anyway, we're going to get to unboxing this. Uh, for those who miss out on the unboxing live, uh, also we'll highlight the video in your channel as well, and um, it'd be uh, once highlighted, it also uploads onto my YouTube channel. I don't always uh, upload much on YouTube as I should. Um, I am planning to do various videos on there, but I don't stream on YouTube. I stream only on Twitch. I hope you enjoy the game, man. I know I've got about an hour and a half into it, and it's so good. So glad I got it. I really hope you enjoy it as much as I am. Back to work I go. Have fun with the unboxing and the stream. Cheers, bud. Appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Honestly, these JRPG story-driven games are like always a great passion of mine. And uh, good to hear the good, good positive news on the game, if anything. But um, I haven't watched much of it. I didn't really want too many spoilers of the game itself. But um, I've heard nothing but... Uh, Good things. 
Right. So then, we'll just move these out of the way and get ready to see what we got inside. We'll have a look. So we're just, uh, where should we put this? We put that there for now, I think. We'll put Mr. Drippy there. So, I mean, th this box is, is nice. I'll obviously, I appreciate the artwork on it. Uh, obviously, that's pretty much what you get inside of it. But uh, it's what's inside is the main thing. Cheers, buddy. I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Almost, almost hitting that uh, 200 goal. Once we uh, hit 200 followers, I'll be doing a, um, a special stream, which is, of course, a uh, game room live tour. Just pretty much um, doing a more in-depth of the things I collect. And uh, just showing various things like that. So again, obviously, same artwork as the sleeve that pulled out. And if we turn it around here, uh, at the minute, as I haven't played the game, uh, I don't know what that icon represents, but um, I'm sure we'll come close to that. And of course, we have the uh, main character draw in there. I just got to keep checking the... Um, the uh, picture just to make sure obviously you guys can see everything and there's nothing out of angle or anything like that so uh, I can't remember how to get into this ah, okay so obviously it goes down like that and lifts up okay so if we just nice and gently lift that up like so carefully put the box down there Okay, so obviously we're presented first with this. It's the sound of Nino Kune. This is uh, one of the things that came with this, like a, a vinyl. So obviously, like a vinyl, you can listen to the music of it. But um, it's the way that it's um, that it's the thing that you can also do with it when you open it up. It's like a cardboard play thing that comes out. So obviously, there's the artwork there. And the two tracks, Theme of Nunu Kune 2 and The Curious Boy. And as we open it up and then hold it down, it's a nice little pop out of three of the, of the characters there, which is really, really nice. That's, that look nice on display, obviously, with all my stuff. I'll find a nice special spot for that as well as the. Uh, Wizards edition, but look, that's that's really nice. That's something special. That is, Mr. Drippy is just falling down. Let's put you safe there, but you're falling over there. And inside should be the uh, the vinyl itself. A lot of people in the game shop are saying um, the vinyl is like the the special thing. It's quite tightly packed in there, to be fair. So um, I don't want to push it up too much or damage it, but we'll get to that. I'm going to upload some pictures anyway of it all, all out and obviously put that on my Instagram as well. So that's that there. I'll see just double checking a good view of that. Couple cut. It just pops up as you do that. That's nice of it. And we'll close that up. That's a nice drawn sketch there as well. I like that. I like that. So we're just uh, just carefully place this down here. And it's so nice being out on display. So next, obviously, we have uh, an art book of it. Nice hardback book. So there's plenty in this box. You definitely get your money's worth. I know um, it is a lot of money, but um, it's definitely all worth it when when you get a lot to, uh, that comes with it. So obviously this is the art of it. So this is going to be more the case of uh, counter design, level design, uh, any items. So main characters, other characters, monsters, kingmakers, villains. Uh, studies not selected in the final game. So that'll be an interesting look at, you know, things that uh, didn't quite make it to the game, but was ideas. Uh, vehicles, Kingdoms, Evermore, Ding Dong Dell. Oh, we go back to Ding Dong Dell. That was in the first one. 
gold pool, Hodopolis, Broadleaf, other places. So obviously, uh, they must be obviously the, the main places. I wonder if they make Ding Dong Down bigger. Because obviously, like, bigger memory now, and like they did on Destiny, I suppose. So obviously, main character designer, so let's see if we can get this up here. So obviously, there's Evan. Little character sketches there. Uh, obviously, I won't go like through every single page. I'll have a quick flick through here. Uh, so look, lofty. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Okay, I'll try and uh, move it about a bit just so that the light isn't interrupting. Um, you know, that shine of the light isn't interrupting the uh, picture of it too much. Uh, other characters, and obviously just like just random things there. Just quickly going through them all. Oh wow, that's awesome! That is some of the monsters. Like, like these must be monsters that uh, you battle against, and obviously like bosses. Some really good art designs in here. Try and see if there's a way I can uh, do it last also. Uh, hopefully my beard don't get in the way. Just quickly going through some of the pages. Uh, so many monsters. Really good drawings. Wow. And obviously... Um, some of the places and locations that uh, you'll be um, going through. That one is Evermore. There's so much on this, wow. Obviously, there must be characters and things that don't make it to the game. Other places. But that, I mean, the artwork in this is absolutely amazing. I know I can't show every single page, but. Uh, You know, I don't want to make the whole stream of just um ah see here's the some of the like the main uh cover pictures. Final designs, obviously that they used for the covers and whatnot. And that's that, uh, that's the uh that's the art book. So um that's a nice nice nice. Really, really like that. Definitely like that. Always like the art books. It just gives you that little bit more of appreciation of um, how much went into the game. So, speaking of games, I've got these nice little tags here. I'll be just to pull things out so you don't damage it. Trying to dig into it. So the game, obviously, it's still sealed. That's the game there. Obviously, I've used the uh, codes already. I've already put them onto the store. Downloaded, ready to go, which are, uh, I think they're like five or six swords, special swords. So that'll be nice. So when I'm streaming, uh, for those who haven't pre-ordered, you know, you, you'll get to see um, those ones as I'm using them. And obviously it comes with also a steel book, which is really nice. Nice clear picture on there. And obviously the dragon logo there. And inside, if we open it, it has the King's Makers. So that disc is also a Blu-ray disc, and you can watch the making of Nunu Nunu Kune. Hey, how's it going, Rocket Launcher Twitch? Rocket Launcher Twitch. <laughs> Do you stream, bud? I'm glad to know what, why the name Rocket Launcher. But um, that'd be interesting to watch. You know, when, it, when you get into a game, it's nice to know, like, how much detail, like, they went into it and whatnot. So, that I mean, that would be a good watch sometime. Could even do a stream of that. I don't know if I'd be allowed or not, you know. But uh, also in here, it comes with some postcards. So, I'll see pictures there. So 
So that's a nice little feature to add to it. So obviously when I when I put this on display on my game shelf, I'll find a nice patch for it to put with me um, Wizard Edition. And um, I'll have it all unboxed out on display, so I'll let it look nice. I do indeed, it's based off Metal well, Slug. I'm only now to say it's Rocket Launcher. It sounds like Rocket Launcher. <laughs> And the name is taken out, just put two it's on the end of it. Oh, that's awesome. It's nice to know your name had meaning, man. That's cool. I was just Xena Warhawk. I just thought it sounded cool. <laughs> it's as easy as that. But no, I like that. I might YouTube that and just have a listen for myself. Right. Now then, the main thing that came with the King's Edition is, of course, this special piece here. Now I've got to try and get this out of here. The last and final piece that came with this. Now this is the uh, little music box and honestly, oh, it's, it's real nice. All right, let's get into this. Uh, the game store which I go to, um, they put on their Instagram a little preview of it and I was just blown away. It's just real, something real nice. Here it works. Saw you from the Facebook streaming page. My name is Brian on Facebook. Oh, awesome, dude. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate that, man. It's good to network, you know? It's good to network. It shows that works as well. You've got to network these days. Do that. Do that. Right, so we'll... Uh, here it is. Try to be as careful as I can and don't drop and just smash everywhere. Yeah, been fun for a bit. Hope you enjoy the game. Oh, sweet man, appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. I, I can't wait. I enjoyed the first one. I had the uh, the Wizards Edition and um, really enjoyed the first one. Definitely um, looking forward to um, playing the second one. Yeah, that's my wife texting me. Leave her. And um, really excited for this one. I've heard really good positive things about it, so that's good. So we'll just gently take that out of there, put the plastic there. And um, I'll try and get it sort of light, I'm trying to figure out where the light don't obviously interrupt it too much. I can see we have Evan there sat on her own on the throne. Then on the other side. We have all three characters sat on obviously the main king's throne it must be. And the little uh, gold carrot carrot? What the fuck am I about? Cat ears at the top. The logo there. It looks a bit fogged, but it's because it's got a uh, protective clear sticker around it. Obviously like a scratch resistant sticker. I'm just debating whether or not to take that off. I'll probably keep it on for now until I decide at a later time. Now Good thing I love about this just just makes that just a little, little bit extra special. Is when you twist it up, plays the tune. And obviously it spins around. I think that's the main theme from the game, I'm not sure. Trying to do this from different angles so uh, the light don't interrupt it too much. Bit of a closer look. That's so nice, that is. Nice little feature, that is. I know, I know it's a music box. It's awesome, right? Absolutely nice, that is. So, just a bit of a close up there. I don't know if you guys managed to see, okay? So, as it spins around, it shows her on the row and then. Spins around to the three main characters there. So that that looked really nice on display with everything else. Once I get that all sorted. Um, right then. Still going or you stopped? <laughs> so we'll just open this up here. Like I was saying before. Uh, also, because I pre-ordered, um, it came with the, the code for the three swords. Which was I think I think there's about five of them. So I've already put that code in. 
This seal is still my head. And Open up, damn you! There we go. I get a bit of nail to it. So I'll just chill out by that for a minute. They know how to seal the game. They know how to keep it fresh. You gotta get aggressive with it now. And of course, the game. Oh! So you can actually, if you wasn't able to get the King's Edition, you can actually buy that music box separate. Well, if you can't, I don't know. But that's that's what it's got on here on the Bandai, Bandai store. And also they're doing pop vinyls of them, which is awesome. Anything inside? And of course, there is the season pass, which is awesome. So I'll put that code in as well. Season pass comes with it as well, which is cool. Codes at the bottom, which I shall put that code in because obviously we want the we want the fun to continue, don't we? So well, I'm going to be streaming this. Uh, You know, it's going to be, it's the adventure's going to continue still. So that's it. That is the um, unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. Obviously, for those who miss it, it'll be uploaded on YouTube. And um, also at the start, I've done a quick um, showing of the first one, you know, Kune uh, Wizards Edition. Just a quick one on that one. So obviously, you know, if you missed it, I'll highlight the video, so obviously you can always check back on it or on my YouTube. But you know, whichever one's easy, whichever website you're on is the easiest. It'll be on there. So that is that. Bear me two minutes. I'm just gonna tap in this code. Uh, 